Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to episode number 19 of our Let's Play series of Suzerain Rizia. We're getting to the end of this playthrough, which was my first and my very first look at the game, uh, and we are at war with Pales, which is our neighbor to the south. In our last episode, we deposed our uh, sort of nephew, uh, Rico, who is a duke in our family, or was a duke in our family, overseeing uh, the province of Brennes, who he was unable to pacify and keep in line. Brennes was actually sort of historically belonged to the Cezanne family who had attempted to kill my father, and that's why our family had a, had a duke running it. But my, my nephew had betrayed the trust of the people. He had lost their support. He was dealing with sort of a localized opposition, and he was reigning a, a mini reign of terror down upon the locals and so I made the decision at a very public place in front of a university to depose him uh, and fortunately we did not expand his police powers so he was not able to stop us the local police backed us up and then we put the patri or the matriarch of the Cezanne family the wife the duchess of uh, the Cezanne family who was the wife of the, the man who tried to kill me uh, or actually tried to kill my father uh, and tried to depose my father. We put her back in charge. We had pardoned her, brought her back to the kingdom, and allowed her to regain control of the region. So that sort of allowed us to thwart a democratic movement, which the Cezans had sort of been supporting. But it seems at least like once we put the Duchess back in control, the royals were satiated and were no longer interested in democracy now that they got their power back. I think, I hope, we'll see. Meanwhile, our daughter is romancing Manus, who is the son of the Duchess of the Cezans. So a lot of intrigue going on with that family who had been sort of our historical enemies. And then also we are romancing the Duchess of the Azaros, who are the military faction in our kingdom, uh, all while doing everything I can apparently to piss off my own local power, you know, power base, the Torres family, who I'm a member of, but apparently am no friend to. In any event, that's where we find ourselves. This war against Pale's not going well. We've really kind of lost a major fort in the north while also really struggling to gain any kind of foothold. We've started to use the navy more effectively. I think I've started to learn how to use the navy a little bit better in these in these uh, campaigns, but I don't know if we have time to turn the tide. Uh, Rumberg is hopefully going to come to our aid with some resources. Uh, but we'll see how that all plays out in this video and if we can leverage that additional, you know, support that we got from Rumberg uh, to maybe turn the tide in this war. But that's enough of me rambling. We're almost three minutes into this video, so let's go ahead and jump back into the live stream portion of this. Uh, taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel, link in the description if you're interested. And without further ado, away we go. How did our battleship stat decrease? Conscription and labor shortages. That's not good. But our economy's already torched, so... Okay. Shouldn't have recognized those folks, I guess. Alright, back to war, right? I thought it said we had a large marine division. Oh, large mountaineer corps. Alright, let's go into the war and see what happens. Oh, the other side gets to go first? Alright, well, we got reinforcements, right? Alright, so there's armor adjacent to this city. At least deploying units doesn't use up my uh, points. That's good, at least. Oh, and then the mercenaries. Everybody's getting deployed to the south. I don't have room. I suppose we can wait on the reinforcements until next turn, in case more stuff will open up in the front. Oh, I didn't deploy any of them? Ah. 
All right, support. What we're doing, support, tank, infantry. Su support, tank, submarine. Okay, so looks like we're going to win that battle easily. I don't even know, need, know if I need to support them at all. They're also going to win that fight easily, I think we are. Ah, I wish I could undo that there. Alright, can I... I can't even bomb. Fuck. Alright. So, we're going to overrun this bad guy. Retake this fort along the border. It looks like that support unit replenished itself. No, I didn't want to do that. God damn it. All right, so this fight's not going our way. I need to support them. There we go. All right, end that turn. So they should hold out on the defensive. They should break that enemy armored division. Got a few turns left. I need to take both these objectives. I probably don't want to attack the city yet. We should wait till next turn to do that. So. Sub forward and see if we can use our navy next turn or something. I don't know. All right, so we overran their infantry there. That battle didn't go in our favor, but we didn't break. We'll also overrun their armor this next turn. So we destroyed that armored division. Now let's launch an assault on Zix. supporting, so they'll continue their supporting. The infantry will join in and that base will fall this turn. That attack will succeed. What did I just do? Did I just swap some units? I didn't... No, they bombarded my tanks. It delayed the assault success.
I doubt we take both objectives because we're going to run out of time before we do, but we did just take one objective. We probably also have to retake that military base in the north. That attack is not going to go well. I wish it could cancel it. Apparently our submarine providing support won't do us any good either. These units not effectively support anyone. All right. Well, the war has turned in our favor for sure with the arrival of the Rumberg resources, but we're almost out of time here. Okay, so the was that our last chance then in the in the war? General Thaddeus Azaro and Duchess Lucida Azaro will be holding a briefing about the results of Operation Golden Shield. Instead of having to meet in the royal palace as usual, Azaro has requested the presence of the king on the front line to oversee the efforts in person. Uh, well, it's not going to succeed, so I'm going to be associated with the failure, which probably isn't great. Whatever. Go to the front lines. Probably going to get killed by an artillery shell or something. I could see the pillars of smoke from the air during the flight. My kingdom was on fire. A military helicopter landed on the helipad as we lowered a few medical helicopters took off while the mother landed. General Azaro was looking at a table along with other high-ranking officers, arguing loudly. I told you the left flank is a no-go. We must first eat. A scream cut through. A soldier on a stretcher was crying out for his mother as he was being moved onto the helicopter. General Azaro was unfazed by the scream. He looked down at the table with a few high-ranking officers. He turned to my approach. My liege, thank you for accepting my request. Welcome to Ford Operating Base Iron Gate. I hope you had a good flight, Your Majesty. After saluting, I shook hands with him. I leaned forward to his ear. Skip the pleasantries, General Azaro. We have much to discuss, as you wish, Your Majesty. Duchess Azaro will be arriving shortly, but for now, please look around you. I can feel the excitement in the air. They see their own king come by their side. Most of the soldiers looked so tired they didn't even recognize their king was here. He turned around and saluted the soldiers. Glorious Axe Rizia, 
A few meek sounds rose from the soldiers. Most of them continued with their duties carrying sandbags and dirt. General Lazaros held his hand and said a prayer. God damn it, that was Major Tergus, one of our best men. I remembered when he first joined my battalion, a good lad, he kept showing everybody photos of his daughter. My condolences, General. No matter. With your majesty's presence here, already helping with our situation, we fight for the country to the final breath. We will be victorious. The operation is not going well, sire. How many do we have? How many do we lose? We're left with more than four... We are left with more than 15 divisions in total, including our Navy. Around 10 divisions have perished in the bat on the battlefield. Our intelligence reports indicate the enemy has taken many casualties. The latest number states that we have successfully destroyed more than 15 divisions. We didn't think it would be this easy. What? Wait, those two statements... What did we capture so far? We've taken Zix. New Ford operating bases were set up nearby. With great sadness, I have to inform you that we have also lost control of Fort Ailes. What do the Rizian people think about the war? General sentiment seems to be against the war, Your Majesty. Once we have a big win, I think the tide will change. Are we seeing a lot of resistance from the people in the captured territories? Yes, sir, but within expectations. I see. Go on. If we can, Your Majesty, we need more manpower and equipment. This might be the way to regain our footing. And of course, these men will need more ammo and weapons. We've used almost everything we have for the operation. One thing is certain, we can't win this war without able and capable boots on the ground. I think we can win the war with the troops we have, just to be clear. I just need more time. The old general went down onto his knees from his wheelchair. His forehead was on the ground. My liege, my king, my lord, I have failed you. Do what you will of me. I leave my life unto your graceful hands. Red, I think it is, personally. There's there's some rough areas in the combat mechanics, but generally speaking, I really like it. It's different. It's much more foreign policy focused. Domestic policies are there, but it's kind of an adjunct to supporting the foreign policy stuff. Get up. A man of your stature should not bow down like this. Listen to your daughter, your majesty. Or whatever. You will. After the enemy took control of Fort Ailes, we managed to push them back. We are back where we started. Our troops are trying to push, however. The enemy does not yield. We held, and they will continue to do so until our last breath. Rest assured, Your Majesty.
holding the line? No, we will push them wherever we have, even if that means more casualties. I said attack. How do we help them from helping pails? All right, I don't want to belabor the point. Let's keep attacking. Nobles are continuing to increase their rent despite the regulation. Broadcast a heartfelt national address. Okay. I'm done with this. I don't want to do their diplomatic stuff. I just want to fight the war! I feel like it's more- I don't know why everybody says UAE. It feels way more the Shah Iran. It's 1950s, remember, not, not present day. Okay, the ominous music again. Are we in Morelia? Are we? I'm, wait, are we in Laspasia? We are in Laspasia. What are we doing here? Why can't I bring this down? Okay. So what is? What do they want? Leave it alone. It's an ancient resonant artifact uncovered in southern Laspia. Quite valuable. Forgive me. Please, let's get comfortable while we discuss matters. So, Your Majesty, you're aware that nobody in Lespia, nor our alliance, supports this visit. But since I see Rezia as a potential partner in the region, I'm showing my respect to you. Lespia does not approve of your invasion, and unless that reality does not change, there's not much I can offer you. But I guess you knew that already. Thank you for having us. I have to point out that there is not much I can offer in, tr in, in our discussion unless Rezia stops the war and retreats. Do you think Rezia can get away from the invasion of Pales just like that? The Grand Duchy of Pales is an important partner of Lesbia. There's no justification for this war, and the ATO is discussing placing sanctions against Rezia. And if they go with it, you bet we'll follow through as well. Are you saying you'll enter the war, Mr. Alvarez? We do not see or want Rezia as an enemy. However, as member of the ATO, we must do what we must do. I prefer that support to be non-existent, Mr. Alvarez. Tomorrow I will be signing off on a military support worth tens of billions of Arcasian Lira to Pales, as well as sanctions against Rizia. This is just the beginning, Your Majesty. Fuck! We should have won more quickly! What atrocities! What's the offer?
Did I? I believe our, your support can easily allow pal I understand your predicament, but lesbians know how to make beneficial deals, and I want to offer you one for both our benefits. Well, if there's nothing I can argue, offer you, what was the point of that meeting? We'll support their diplomatic mediation. Alright, so the enemy that we were just beating is now going to get a lot stronger. We should have stayed on the defensive, I suppose. <sighs> Uncle Hugo greeted me in front of the doors. Ramos, I'm glad you made it. Good day, everybody. Okay, so there's a nice marriage that's going to go on. According to the reports, living standards have increased immensely over the last years. The majority of our citizens are quite happy with how things are going. There are also incredibly, ma there are also incredibly major concerns from the labor leaders who seem to try and organize the workers to strike. Okay. Thank you, Lady Regent, for sharing the reports you received. While I can acknowledge the problems within our industries, the situation is not as bleak as your report suggests. Not as bleak doesn't sound any better. Of course. The workers' rights proposal you've received can still be implemented as a royal decree if you wish to do so. I don't have the money, so I'll consider it. What would you like to talk about, Your Majesty? What's our military situation? Okay. Mm, what's happening with the Rizian economy? A very already mentioned living standards in Rizia are in a very healthy position as a result of a combination of economic policies. However, we're rapidly losing money. We should try to get out of our current deficit situation. On top of that, we don't have any money to spend at the moment. Of course, the war has influenced my department very negatively, to say the least. While the enacted war profits tax is helping with our immediate finances, it's having a bad and possibly lasting effect on the growth of our economy. Thank you for your comments, Miss Werner. Uh... Energy crisis. Our production capacity hasn't collapsed yet. Thank you for sharing. New businesses are having a dire economic situation. This is disconcerting. Uh, what's the state of foreign affairs? We've been recently condemned by a number of ATO members. For instance, our invasion of Pales, they're threatening sanctions. I don't really have anything to say on that. Thank you for that. Final vote on the MITS issue, which is taking place at the start of next year, will be the defining factor of our long-term relationship with them. Our relationship with Daria has reached new heights. Pressing them, we gave them equal pilgrimage rights, right?
Thank you, Duchess Cesaro. Collaboration and interdependencies we have formed thus far makes it possible a viable strategy. We can form a regional alliance. I like the sound of that. Our current relations with neighbors and the increasing pressure on our region from the CSP and ATO, we have the perfect window of opportunity. More gas is a crucial bargaining chip that we have, and we can provide cheaper gas to other neighbors, connecting our economies even further. Our relations with Morelia aren't as bad as they used to be. They can be a potential partner for us. There's also Derdia. We normalized our relationships with them, and it can sway them to a possible pact. Everyone in the region is looking for more energy sources, and they're getting increasingly pressured by the CSP and ATO to subjugate themselves to the interests of the superpowers. We're still on good terms with Rumberg and Grace, but our distant geographical proximity limits the benefits we can get out of that relationship. I truly believe that our national interests do align with our neighbors, and if we can connect with our economies further and create balanced dependencies on each other, we can ensure peace and, and unity in southern Maricopa. I completely agree with you. Lead the initiative to form a neutral Southern Maricopan pact that would require us to funnel a lot of resources. I don't have resources or money. Sure, go ahead with this. Regional Alliance sounds great to me, but we don't have any money. Never Castle, one of our most well preserved. Savage bomb attacked. Great. I'm negative eight economy? Oh, God. House of Delegates abolish it? No. Keep it. I can't do anything. I don't want to get beheaded. Utilize royal staff and resources, because that's the only thing I can do. Is use authority. It's literally the only thing I have. Collapse in new businesses. That's not good. Average living standards. They were good living standards before, weren't they? Ugh. We do. Ha we're gonna have energy next turn, I guess. I can raise more taxes. Sell military submarines for cash? Yes, do that. Submarines aren't going to help me. And I don't have time to raise new units. So what can I do with five gold temporarily to improve our economy? Nothing? I can do nothing? Oh, I have no more authority, that's why. So I just got five gold that's going to vanish. Great. Maybe the money will go toward, um, well, can I, can I buy more equipment from anybody? Was that not an option? Oh, I don't have the authority. That's why. So if I'd gone for the abolish the Congress, then I could have used that authority to use the money that I got. That might've been the better approach, but I didn't know that was an option. Does it, so wait, it cost authority to buy equipment? It does. Fuck. Well, that sucks. All right, let's go see what the Zill discussions have in store for us. We're back to President Smolak.
Welcome aboard, your majesty. So glad you could join me. He was carrying a baby? And who is this little mister? My son, Victor Smolak II. After eleven daughters, courtesy of my eight wives, all of whom I'm still married to, I finally have a boy. Jesus. Hope I have a son of my own someday. It's never too late, your majesty. Not for men like us. Well, shall we get to it then? What's the rush? I've got plenty of time to talk. We've got a long flight ahead of us. By all means, relax and enjoy yourself. I'll be back later once I spend some quality time with the kid. Several hours later, I woke up to the sight of a vast expanse of ocean appearing over the horizon. I had fallen asleep in one of the lounge chairs. I hope you had a good rest, your majesty. A coffee, please. Right away. The traveling in style. I'm honored. You should be. Everyone else is so official and by the book. I could have invited Prime Minister Alvarez here, but he'd pay more attention to the liquor than the view. And Queen Beatrice? Ha! Forget about it. I suppose that depends on how you define friendship. Well, I, for one, define a friend as someone you can trust to be completely honest with you. Even, especially, if you've done something wrong. Okay. As you can see, I've made a few notes ahead of time. Though it's a bit hard to read. Helps me be direct and to the point. Well, then allow me to be direct. I came here to ensure that Rizia, his rightful claim to Zil is upheld, and all territory currently occupied by Valen's force is returned. I truly hope this hasn't been a waste of time. I shall be the judge of that. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. So where were, where would you like to begin? Trade deals? Security packs? Ah, that's right. We never came to an agreement over Zil. If that's the case, we can just skip ahead to the heart of the matter. I think we can make this brief. Our meeting three years ago didn't exactly fill me with confidence about Zill's security. If it was Rizia that didn't respect Valen or her wishes at all, I left questioning whether or not Rizia could be trusted to uphold the agreement or negotiate in good faith in general. We do respect you. I'm here, aren't I? Just because you're here doesn't make you a trusted ally. Those sorts of relationships take time. We are no closer to finding a culprit for the Friendship Day bombing than we were five years ago. It seems as if you are finally coming to your senses regarding your one-sided relationship with Rumberg. I need to think about this for a second. So where does that leave us? Leave us? Well, the way I see it. May your majesty, may I present you Zill. You always are one for theatrics. I'm impressed. The sight of Zill takes my breath away every time I see it. But given everything we've just discussed, I'm afraid I simply can't hand it over to you. However, I will tell you what I do will do. Because I'm a nice guy, I'm willing to let the people of Zill decide their leadership for themselves. You want Zill to hold a referendum on reunification? Precisely. The way I see it, it should be up to the people of Zill to decide who are, who are we to dictate their destiny without consent. Yeah, sure. If you're not going to give it to me by force, let's do a referendum. Very well, if you insist. I'm 
sure he'll rig it, but maybe with the cash we have in hand right now, we can make sure he doesn't. So I agreed to a referendum. Can I pay to make that referendum happen? Operation Total Tranquility, Phase 1. Okay, what's this now? Did we actually retake Fort Ailes? Nice. So the enemy now has a ton more units because of the stupid alliance. Okay, so what are our objectives here? We have to take... Remez? And is this the capital? Souls and Pales up here in the north? There's mountains here. I'm wondering if we get this total tranquility because I ordered the units to attack. And we did take that southern objective, so maybe the enemy pulled back. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's set in stone. I'm not sure. Oh, crap. They got a battleship. A flagship. That's neat. We do have to take Remez, though. Alright, so we still have the troops from... that came from... Rumberg. I'm gonna try and attack along two avenues. Masseuse and down to Remez in the south. So I'm gonna put an armored unit in front for both. And then the th third tank unit will support between the units here so it can support attacks in both directions we're also going to put our mechanized forces here so they can support I'm going to put my infantry units more so on the front line here where they'll probably be in defensive positions actually we should replace one of these guys with a mountain troop right so let's pull... Is this... This isn't a mountain unit, is it? No. Uh, either way, let's put a mountain troop there to support the assault here. the enemy may launch like an attack in the north or something or maybe in the south I'm not really sure I guess we'll see I lost my Azaro elites damn it We can also use our military ships to support, I think, with bombardments. Ships are better at support for what it's worth than subs, so putting ships along the coast makes sense. That's the initial deployment. Okay, let's see what we can do. First things first, let's try and break through these tanks in the south. I wish you had more attack points. There you go. This bombardment should overrun these guys with ease. So that's two attacks there in the south. Two units attacking there in the south. Let's save our aviation for now. I 
I don't think it makes sense to attack along the Mesus line quite yet. Because I doubt I will have... Well, these are mountain troops, right? See, this is where I really need the... Uh, ability to do... Undo. Because I don't have any way of knowing what this attack... Their defense is 5. Right? Can these guys attack this way? See, that was pointless. Now these guys are going to get crushed attacking this enemy unit. God damn it. Alright, we rocked him in the south. That's good news, at least. Got rocked in the north. to stop this attack here. So these guys are attacking my mountaineers. just do. Well, the support seems to have no effect. You'd think having multiple support units here would help. Apparently I fortified my tanks by misclicking. Alright, I guess we could do an airstrike on the armor here. And it makes no difference. Great. So we got rocked there. At least those guys are largely entering a salient. That attack will fail. So I guess the enemy that I had wrecked regained some abilities. Naval bombardment's pretty damn powerful in this game, I'll give it that. Hey, it said I was going to win that fight. I thought it said I was going to win that fight. Alright. To take Remez, I think we need naval support. To that end... Why the fuck did it... I didn't want to fortify. I wanted to support that naval attack. And I just used a... Mm.
it's just really frustrating how the mechanics work on some of this stuff. Because it's like, I didn't even realize I was... I didn't think I was clicking Fortify, and yet apparently I was. just destroyed one of my armored divisions, so we're getting rocked in the center. I'm not even... I don't have anything selected. Drop our marines ashore to support that drive in the south on Remis. Very slim chance we might still have a chance to take Remis before the end of this turn. All right, we should be able to get into Remis Harbor on the last turn with our with our naval forces. This player unit is... We could attack Roma, so not quite yet. We're not going to, but we could. get that armored unit here. Well, that support did nothing. We're going to get overrun to the west of Remez, but that's okay. We should destroy this armored unit here and the naval unit here, so hopefully in the last turn we can take Remez. Oh, our sub just got sunk. Damn it. Oh, not enough. That won't be enough. So we'll start the attack on Remus, but we won't succeed. I wish you had more freaking action points. Combat is so frustrating in this game. Just a quick side note, there are investments you can make to get more action points. There's like a military university you can invest in, which gives you more action points and other things like that during the camp, during sort of the main parts of the game. So keep that in mind, because I did not realize that. I didn't pay super close attention to that during the uh, playthrough earlier, uh, but that is somewhat my own fault. No! I didn't mean to do that. Another enemy division destroyed. <sighs> Alliance of Nations. Oh. 
Did I have a country picked out? I must. Maybe I can flee to Rumberg. I'm still on decent terms with the queen, I think. All right, guys. We've been going for almost three hours. I thought this was going to be the last day, but this war is really dragged down with a lot of things that I don't care about. I just want to fucking fight the war. But I guess that's uh, that's a common complaint folks would have, right? I mean, how often do militaries complain about the political sides of wars when it's like, no, you can't just turn everything else going on during a conflict off. You still have to worry about all that. But in any event, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. This is where the live stream ended, so we will pick things up in our next episode. Until then, however, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.